Hey all, this is Matt with Vulcan Gasifier. Um, we have our 2015 uh, machines coming out and I want to do a quick overview on the M Series 4 and the M M1. I have both of them here for comparison. Um, one is fully loaded with all options and one is not. Now I offer both systems with, with options. Uh, the M1 has the base is the base system and the M4 here has additional options and these are available again for the M1 as well M2 M3 um, these options consist of the the wheeled chassis uh, the fan chiller for the condenser if you wanted uh, additional cooling um, this consists of our our blower that's modified and a shroud that wraps around the condenser. Otherwise, it would look like the, the M1's uh, condenser here without, without the uh, shroud. Um, additionally, the, this machine has the um, grate shaker and the hopper agitator, which is located here in the back. And then we have the control system. Here, um, if you did not have the the automation package, it'll be your blower would be just run from the battery by simply attaching the alligator clips to a battery. Um, otherwise, you actually get a on-off switch. So if you wanted to fire it up, open the valve up, turn the blower on. Um, sorry, I'm a little shaky. I must have had too much coffee this morning. So inside, you got a timer board and a set of relays for, for uh, transferring power to the components. Um, let's go to the, the hopper and the agitator. Let's show you how to set that up. Um, say you wanted to change your times, and this button here, you push this button, and we get a flashing six. All right, that's the mode, and this board has a bunch of different modes, but I use mode six. You wanted to change that, this is the, the number down. Now I got five, and then this is the number up, and then this here switches the, the digits. Now, see the one that's flashing? The one is the timer one. So that's that's the for the hopper. And then if I wanted to change this, change it to the grate, I switch it to two, and then I can move on. All right, now the next function is my time on. The time after that is the time off. And again, you can use the, the switch to change the di digits. If I wanted to make this run for 160 seconds, I could go up. Or if I want to go two, or if I want to go back down, I can change that back down. All right, say if I want to go back to timer one, I'm going to go back to that first menu where I got the flashing six. Change that to, oops, I got to change that to the two, get the two flashing. All right, now I'm back to timer one. All right, I got the, the hopper agitator uh, going on for three seconds and I have it off for 45 seconds. And that's basically it. This 101, don't ever change that. That's the, um, uh, for the seconds, the time interval for an actual second. If you change that, it, it, it messes the whole thing up. So don't mess with that one. Um, now I hold it, and that turns the board back on. So every time you fire, when, anytime you turn that switch on, it's gonna go, it's gonna switch both timers to the on, on time interval. So it's gonna be on. And then now it's counting down for the time off. Um, all the machines that we build, um, well, now let me take that back. The M series has changed a bit. The ignition port has been relocated um, if you notice, we got this uh, deflector. 
don't ever take that off a gasifier, our gasifiers, please. Um, this is to prevent, um, if this machine ever does have a flashback event, that's to deflect the, the gases coming out so it doesn't get burn your face or your eyes. Um, and really on any gasifier, you should never look directly into the ignition port. Um, they're all capable of having a flashback. This here is the, the air intake. This does have a single stage air preheat system. Oh, that is another option with, with the M series. Uh, we have, uh, it has adopted the, the removable jetting externally. Um, if you need to do a jet tune on a machine, um, you know, it's not universal where you could run pellets one day and then run wood chips the other day. You may need to do a jet change. And that's simply um, lengthening or shortening the jets, changing the orifices, and uh, tuning the machine to to uh, run the fuel, your intended fuel. Um, let me shut that off. So if you want to do a jet change on this machine, you just loosen these screws up and take the stainless steel band off and that exposes the jets and then you simply um, turn them out and um, you can replace them with simple pipe fittings that you can get from the hardware store and then reinstall. <laughs> um, as last year, the great clean out, you unscrew this and then this has a plunger back and forth motion to get the, the ash out you get a uh, um, a cake pan or something that'll fit under here and that'll cl collect your ash now on the on this m1 this one does not have the removable jets what that has is a this if you remove this, this is uh, basically a cavity for insulation, which both of them have. And if you want to do a look inside there, you could, you know, it's the same thing. But instead of having removable jets, that has a jacket um, that uh, channels the air to the jets. But if you ever had to do a jet change on this, you would still have to remove the stainless steel band, you would also have to dig the machine out, remove the hopper to access the jets. Um, also, this doesn't have it yet, but uh, there's a handle that's supposed to go through here to attach to this to do a manual grate shake. And <laughs> you'd have to get a dead ball hammer or something to uh, to uh, agitate the hopper if need be. This one's actually pretty consistent. I haven't had a bridge with it yet. Um, light up procedure. I'm gonna use the, the M4 here for that. Um, to start the machine up, basically make sure your ball valve is open. The handle will be in the, in the direction of flow. Turn the blower on and put fire to the ignition port. Um, you let it go for a, a minimum of 30 seconds, about 30 seconds to one minute until you have good smoke coming out. Then you replace your cap, remove your ignition port cap, and let it go for another, at a minimum of 60 seconds. Make sure that that fire is below where the jets are, or you can have a puff back. And then to turn on the uh, the chiller, this is uh, and that blows air in, into that shroud and dissipates the heat out the top and bottom. So that is uh, basically it. Um, thank you for, for watching.